Hey there Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. Cancer, this is going to be a general reading, so it can cover anything. Work, life, career, love, um, anywhere in your life, okay? So let's get some energy. We have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshines my soul. Okay. At the bottom, we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Okay? So, I feel like you may have a great focus. <clears throat> I feel like you may be feeling better. Or you may be working on health issues, on um, some kind of health concerns that you have. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're more focused. On becoming more healthier okay wow look what wanted to fall out we have miracle there's a miracle that's beginning to happen for you cancer uh, we have balance okay so I feel like you know be ready be prepared for some sort of miracle that is unfolding for you <clears throat> something is gonna happen for you I feel like you're too you're totally growing and uh, this is a time of great change for you okay let's take a look at the tarot and let's see what is in store for cancer okay message for cancer please sun moon rising and venus okay <clears throat> Yeah, a lot of clarity. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Six of Cups. Beautiful. Okay. We have the Ten of Wands. The Knight of Swords. And the Moon card. Okay, Cancer. <clears throat> At the bottom, we have the Seven of Swords. So, you know, we have we have two sevens here. So I feel like this is a time to become aligned, to find your balance, to find some kind of healing. Okay? Sevens are numbers of alignment. So I feel like something is becoming more clear. Something is becoming more obvious to you. As far as, you know, what you believe in, what you're standing on, what you are standing up for. Okay. Um, this is new ideas, new beginnings, new thoughts unfolding for you. So I feel like you may be changing your beliefs. You may be leaving behind some beliefs that maybe you once stood on. Maybe you once backed up some sort of beliefs. Uh, maybe you believed in something at one time. And now you're choosing to just take the important things and walk away from the others. Okay? I feel like <clears throat> you're not disregarding all of your past beliefs. But you're kind of sifting through them to see, you know, where you are today, how you've grown, how, how you've changed, and how your beliefs have structured the person that you are. Um, I feel like you're, you know, you're looking into just putting your time and energy into the beliefs that you truly feel like you know, they're pushing you forward to a new beginning, into a new um, person, into what is making you healthy. You know, and I feel like there's some sort of miracle that's unfolding. Um, you are gaining balance. <clears throat> and I feel like you're letting go of some responsibilities that you feel no longer serve you. And you're just maintaining those responsibilities that you have to, 
you know, adhere to, okay? Um, and Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that you have to deal with cancer. You may have a lot of things on your plate at the moment, but I feel like you have the willpower to take on whatever comes ahead of you. But I feel like you're focused. You're focused on one very strong priority. And you, you feel like the other priorities in your life are just going to have to take a back burner while you pursue this one idea, this one uh, action that needs to be taken. And I feel like you have the willpower to kind of um, find out what's hidden. Find out that... I feel like you're finding out some sort of secret. You're finding out, you know, how to be more balanced, how to really prioritize the things that are more important to you. It's it's a very confusing reading right now, um, Cancer. I'm getting a lot of confusing energy, but I feel like you have this strong willpower to do whatever it needs to be done to let go of the things that you feel are just like weighing you down there. They're making you feel overwhelmed and, you know, it's not worth putting your energy into. And I feel like you're putting a lot of thought behind this activity. Okay. Um, and I feel like, you know, whatever's hidden at the moment, I feel like you're going to gain a lot more clarity to what this is. This may have to deal with love or your life in general. You know, um, I'm not getting a lot of love vibes here, um, but I feel like this may have to deal with work or your lifestyle. Okay, let's get some clarity on this. Give me more messages, Spirit. Tell me more about this message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Sun card, okay. I'm liking this. The Ace of Cups. The Emperor. The Hangman. And the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> what you have at the bottom is the Nine of Swords. So I, I feel like there are some fears and reservations here. But I feel like you're actively working. You're actively trying to build up some kind of idea. Uh, you may be you know, actively feeling like you're ready to start a family, but, you know, you're waiting for that, that night to come around. And this may be the opportune time for you, Cancer. There may be new love in the, in the works for you, because I feel like this may be something that you may be doubtful that is real, but, you know, I feel like this is something that you want to build upon. You're ready to start a family. You're ready to, you know, share your experience. You know, I, I feel like you have a lot, lot of knowledge <clears throat> and a lot of know-how. Maybe you've, you know, taken care of children in the past or maybe you have done certain things. Maybe you've seen things growing up to where, you know, I want this. I want this type of family. And now you're really in pursuit of that. You know, now this isn't going to resonate with all of you. This may just resonate with a few. But, you know, I had to put that out there because it's in the cards. But like I said, with that Knight of Cups, you may have love coming through. You know, I feel like you're actively building something that you didn't think was possible. That you had doubts was going to come through. You know, you were very fearful. Maybe you felt your biological clock ticking and like, I'm not going to have this ever in my life. And now 
you know, that possibility is clear. Okay? So that's just for some of you. Okay, with this Ace of Swords, Cancer, there's an offer. There's, and this could have to do with a job. But I, I feel like there's a clear offer on the table that is very good news. And I feel like it's, it's news that you've been waiting for. It's something that you've been waiting for for a while. Okay? But I feel like that good news is coming through very soon. There's an offer on the table. And I feel like you're thinking very strongly about accepting. Okay? Now, with <clears throat> the Seven of Wands, I feel like you're finding more happiness. You may be creating a new belief system. But I feel like you're finding more balance. You're finding more happiness. You're in pursuit of like clearing the clutter. Okay? That's how I'm feeling. Maybe you're clearing the clutter in your home. Um, in the way that you think. In your belief system. You're just clearing the clutter. And you're looking more for space. For knowledge. For happiness. For enlightenment. Okay? And I feel like, you know, you're it's taking you to this new level. Because <clears throat> look, you know, she's leaving behind these cups. She has this one cup in her hand. This is the one cup. Someone is offering you love. So she's, she's letting go of these cups that no longer serve her. But she's just taking this one. This one very important cup. Okay? So, I feel like, you know, you left behind the things that no longer serve you. But you're taking away this new feeling. This new ability. You're taking away your cup. Okay? You're walking into your Nine of Cups moment with just this cup. Okay? So that's beautiful because I feel like you're you're becoming more content with yourself. You're becoming more content with your situations. You're able to take more control of your priorities and the things that, you know, may be burdening you. <clears throat> so I feel like you're taking more control of these things. Also, this person that's coming forward, this cup. This may be an Aries coming forward, okay? It also may be a Sagittarius, but I feel like, yeah, you're taking more control of your situation. Um, and I feel like you have the willpower and the awareness to um, pursue whatever you want to pursue as far as career, love, you know, whatever you're doing in your life. I feel like you're moving forward. See how he's moving forward towards that control? You're actively learning. You're actively taking control of the things that you need to. You're building yourself up. You're becoming more aware of what may be hidden. Because, see, you're planting seeds and you're growing you're growing into this situation to where the things that may have been once hidden are now being revealed because you are growing. There's growth happening here. Okay? So, I feel like you're kind of expanding as a person. You know, and as a person, we're constantly growing. We're constantly gaining knowledge. And we're constantly becoming more aware of the things that are happening in our life, how we feel, you know, who we need to let in our space and not to let in our space. And I feel like, you know, Cancer, you're becoming more aware of these situations and how you actually see things unfolding. Okay? Uh, so I feel like that's this hangman moment. You know, you're becoming more aware of the situations around you and you want to take more control because there is growth 
happening for you because you're in pursuit of your happiness, of love, of the unexpected miracles that may be unfolding around you. Okay, let's see. Let's get an outcome for Cancer. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands actively pursuing. I like this. Okay, and we have the uh, Eight of Swords and the Page of Wands. At the bottom, look what we have again. We have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like there's something that you're actively pursuing, but I also want to let you know not to be too hasty in your decision making. There may be some decision that you need to make, but, you know, don't be too ha hasty in your decision making. You know, take your time, think things through, get support if you want to, because I feel like there's something very important that you're creating. I feel like you're in this manifestation mode and you are creating something incredible in your life. And you may not be even fully aware of this yet. But, you know, just don't be hasty in your decision making. Think things through. Okay? Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you're actively in pursuit. This may also be, you know, you traveling for some kind of situation. I feel like you may be a little hasty in traveling. You really don't want to go on this trip. Um, but I feel like, you know, it may be for work, it may be for some other reason, but I feel like, you know, you're kind of holding yourself back. You don't want to go on this travel right now, but I feel like someone has your ear. You, you know, you're going to get some kind of communication that's going to set you at ease. Okay, some, some enthusiastic person is very ex excited. If there's a trip you're going on. I feel like this person is, you know, their excitement, their enthusiasm is going to, you know, rub off on you. You're going to feel a bit, a little bit better about the situation. Maybe you don't like planes or maybe you don't like trains or travel. But I feel like you're going on some kind of road trip or, you know, to a new destination. Okay. This also may be the need to take action when you really don't feel like doing it. But there again, I feel like there's someone kind of pushing you into the situation. Tell me a little bit more about this. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Yeah, this may be for love. You may be traveling to see someone. And I feel like this person that you're traveling to see is, is very happy to see you. But you're like, I don't like to fly. I don't like to drive that far, you know, but um, you're hesitant. You're like building up walls, holding yourself back from this enjoyment. But I feel like they're, you're kind of weighing your options in this situation, but I feel like this Two of Cups is going to take control of the situation. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're going to put your heart over your head. You know? So whatever options you're weighing, I feel like love is going to win the battle. And I hope that makes sense to you. But yeah, I feel like love is going to win the battle. You may, you know, be building up your walls to this Two of Cups person. But I feel like, you know, they're kind of weighing you down. <laughs> they're wearing you down. They're, they're very happy and excited. And I feel like you are just kind of hesitant for some reason. Okay, give me an angel card. For Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? Spirit, give me an angel card for Cancer. <clears throat> okay, we have positivity, faith, and optimism. 
you open up excuse excuse me you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on keep the faith and keep going okay that's what you needed to hear at that moment beautiful that's exactly what we were saying you know i feel like this person is they're wearing you down with this positive energy okay let's see we have be proud of yourself last quarter moon in taurus and we have new moon in aries go for it you know as spirit is letting you know to get moving take action practice gratitude okay last quarter moon in sagittarius be thankful for the little things because the little things turn into big miracles okay let's take a look at an angel number let's get you an angel number cancer what does cancer need to know okay two 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 balance exactly now is the time to make to take inventory of your feelings are there any feelings of imbalance or resistance divine whispers are here to remind you that the alignment that you seek also seeks you breathe rest and reset okay cancer your affirmation what feels peaceful and calm easily finds me as i restore the balance within me okay so cancer if you made it this far type in the comment section two 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 balance you know um and if you want to you know read that affirmation what feels peaceful and calm easily finds me as i restore the balance within me okay so you may want to let yourself know that as you're trying to gain this balance during this time okay so cancer this is your reading for um march so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun moon and rising i'll have the march uh, playlist uh, right about here a little bit after i'm so bad at placing those cards but uh, you'll be able to find the march playlist where you can look at your sun moon rising and venus for love okay and unto your next reading many blessings to you love and light <laughs>